This is Fort St. Cristobal in San Juan, Puerto Rico. It is towards the beginning, before you get to El Morro, when you're coming up that hill, it will be on your right, right before La Perla. And it's the, most people just go straight to El Morro and skip Cristobal altogether. But we are here, Castillo San Cristobal. You ready? Hello, sir, welcome. Hey, how are you? Good, sir. Welcome to Castillo San Cristobal. The interface is $10. The kit on the 15th. Perfect. Awesome. Here it is, Fort St. Cristobal. Where's mom? Are they coming? All right, we got to wait for them. Look at Uncle Hat carrying up baby Brandon. It's absolutely beautiful. Hey, look at me, smile. Right. Let's go in. So here we are at St. Cristobal, not El Morro. So this is one of the So this is the view outside of the main window of San Cristobal, Castillo San Cristobal. It's, it's like a Moro light. What is this place? Oh. Cheek to jaw. Wow. Look, and you gotta shoot right up to your station. Oh wow. Those are some steep stairs. Man, they just used to straight sleep on wood. <laughs> <laughs> Call it a day. Oh wow, it's actually not hollowed in. This thing seems even larger. Ah, and this must have been their dining hall. 
Interesting. What? There's stairs in here? Hell yeah! <laughs> That's way better than, that, than climbing that outside one. Hopefully this... Hopefully this doesn't dead end. Actually, we're here during World War II, too. American troops were here during World War II? From here? Oh wow, it's beautiful. You could just, <laughs> you could just jump. Hold on, let's see if there's a staircase. I got a feeling they put in a staircase. No way they made it this easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they put in a stair. Hey, Lorla, you made it up here already? You are the most athletic of us. What? You got to tell This is badass. Wow. Yeah, what they'd say. One more behind me. Appreciate it, guys. Holy cow, what a view. Lorelai, clear the area so they can get through. Holy cow. You can see all San Juan. The view from San Cristobal is amazing. Hey, Uncle Hector, turn around. Let me get a photo of you with this background. Hey, Lorelai, get next to Uncle Hector. All right, look at me, guys. Put your arms around her. Look at me, Lorelai. Good girl. Stick your tongue out. <laughs> Stick your tongue out. One, two, three. There you go. That's what you think about my photos right there. Oh, yeah, you're right. From the rooftop, like where the, where the elevator shaft is. Yeah. Like you can see that more way down there on the rooftop. And you can see this place too, I guess. Wow. This guy's coming in. See, that's the right there. Yeah. See the side, the one side, the little orange one side. Yep. That's where. Uh, and then you see the T-Mobile place. You see the roof over there. That's it. There it is, the T-Mobile district. This is the view of San Juan, Puerto Rico, from San Cristobal. Castillo Cristobal. Yeah. Marsh, all the way down there. Marsh. This is all the same. Wall 
Yeah. Lorelai, like, look at me. Look, Uncle Hector, look at me. That's a cute picture. Get closer. Here. There you go. <laughs> hey, Lorelai, look at me. No, stop sticking your tongue out. It's too early. <laughs> All right, now you can stick your tongue out. <laughs> Why are you blaming me for giving bad habits? She immediately sticks she her tongue like, out. Uncle Hector has bad habits. Oh, right. <laughs> Let me take, let me take I one of these. All right. Yeah, I'm going to go this way. Give you some perspective there, brother. This is the fire control station. Here in San Cristobal. That is El Morro. We are here in San Cristobal. Calisto de San Cristobal. And from here you can see if there are any ships coming in or if you got enemies that are trying to attack or handle. So the views from San Cristobal are so amazing for seeing San Juan and I highly recommend San Cristobal. It's beautiful. Lorelai, stand next to them. You're half the size of a typical Spaniard from back in the day and you're seven. Us Americans will destroy ancient Spaniards. Look at this guy. A little head. My god. All right, so that has been Fort San Cristobal. I hope you've enjoyed as we make our way to El Morro. So that's been Fort San Cristobal as we make our way to El Morro. It's got the best views of San Juan and I highly recommend it. Goodbye, Fort San Cristobal. It's been a great adventure. And now we are on your way to the big brother, El Morro. 10 bucks. This is the walk from Fort St. Cristobal to El Morro. It goes through the neighborhood of La Perla, which is home to the fishbowl. La Perla has got a unique reputation, and I wouldn't go in there unless you know someone from there, or you have a route to the fishbowl, because it can get quite dicey in there. This is Carmelo Anthony's basketball court here in La Perla. And this is the preferred way to get around the island by the Puerto Riqueños. Except this guy's not blasting his music too loud, which is kind of cool. Because sometimes they get a little bananas with that. This is the ent one of the entrances to La Perla. He's amazed. First time baby Brandon sees cannons here. Any cannon. Look at that. Yeah, he's not interested. He is not interested. Oh wait, maybe he is. Just interested in the other ones. Yeah, he is. <laughs> I left the stroller. He loves messing with stuff like that. He loves it. Hey. Brandon, cheese. Let him hold the tire. Cheese. All right, Mia, grab his hand because he thinks he's on his own. I'll get the stroller.
Those used to be stairs, I think. These are like beds? No, like over there. Look at, look. Oh, yeah. They lead to nothing. <laughs> Maybe there was something there before. This drum. That's interesting. It's closed drum, off. Lanterns, bowls, cups. I mean, that doesn't look very comfortable, does it? You go through there, it's like a wind tunnel blowing at your face, and it feels so good. <laughs> I don't think the baby wants to stay still. If not, I would. Look up. Have you ever realized that? Oh, yeah. And if there was no humans or animals, then there would be less waves. True. Gravitation would still be there now, so it would be like maybe one or two waves. But mostly it would be done by animals and people. So, okay. Well, that's my hypothesis, but yeah. yeah.